guys, what's up? Uh, Bounty Hunter here, or Darian, and today uh, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about my channel and a little bit about what I do in a uh, gear setup. So, uh, my channel is, of course, Airsoft, judging by the name of my channel, and uh, it's a mix between Speedsoft and Milsim. Speedsoft is more quick paced, fast paced, and Milsim is more like, like, mi like military style. But, uh, uh, that's, that's my style of play. I mean, I like to do different things, right? And this video isn't, eh, I don't know how long it's going to be. But it's just a gear setup, some gear that I run, my mask, clothes, guns, BBs, camera. And, yeah, that's going to do it. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy, and let's get to it. Uh, I'll start. Sorry, this is very unprofessional. First thing, guys. So, first gun that I do run is going to be the KWC Desert Eagle V2. I don't have the V1, which sucks. CO2 powered. Uh, powerful that I can't use it sometimes at my field. I have to take the barrel out and adjust it. So, I just saw a bit of it off, but very kind of small round capacity and I mean it's better than one I'm gonna show you next but I'm starting with pistols anyway so uh CO2 uh blowback very it kicks really hard uh this thing is full metal apart from the lower uh receiver it gets most of its way from the magazine I think it's 25 30 shots like 25 20 I don't know you know how many it is because I forgot anyway um take it apart there's a button here I, I, I'm not gonna do it you push that in and you flip this here. But, uh, yeah, KWC Desert Eagle. Very, very fun gun. Very, very heavy gun. Very impractical. I have a high kappa that I'm getting hopefully soon. So, yeah, this thing, uh, decent gun. Uh, but on to the next piece of gear, which is an even crappier gun than this. But, the next gun. This is just an old, this is a really crappy Colt M1911. It's terrible. It's got a stick mag. It's got like 15 shots. CO2, you put it in there. Non blowback, which sucks. It, the barrel comes out the front. It's really kind of crappy, so. Uh, this is going to be short. You can't take this thing apart. You have to unscrew a whole bunch of bolts and to take it in half, so. It's a really crappy gun, and I might as well show you the next gun. It's going to be very short, so. This is the next gun. Crappy. Again, I got it in a bag of. I got it in, I think, BBs. Just a little springer with a, I think, five round. I don't even know how much it holds, but that's just a hidden backup, I guess. I don't really know what you would call that, but anyway, on to my rifle. I run a CM16 Raider by G&G short barrel version. Uh, I zipped out a flashlight onto it just because it's easier and I don't have to actually get a flashlight. Uh, if you're looking to get into Airsoft, definitely get a G&G. Uh, I'll start with the CM16 because these, these are, uh, guns are really reliable. I've had this for about, oh shoot, that's right. I've had this for about a couple years, I think, no. I've had it for two years. It hasn't failed me yet. I hope it doesn't. Uh, a lot of barrier storage in the stock, just the regular stock. You can change that out. Uh, there's, I think, two different versions of this. There's a short barrel, which I have, and a long barrel, which I, ha uh, which I don't have. Charging handle doesn't work, sadly. No dummy bolt. Which sucks, but hop up is in there. All right there. This is a really, really good gun, and uh, it extends at the stock. I like to keep it close. So, uh, yeah, and I just I just didn't cut it because I don't want to. Um, and we're running it with it. I have two magazines. One that uh, another YouTuber Tubbs gave me. I just duct ducted them together. Because I figured, why not have two mags instead of one? Anyways, so yeah, that's just two uh, M4 mags taped together with like with electric tape. So yeah, that's pretty much it for guns. I mean, those are my two uh, the the two crappy ones and my Deagle and then my rifle and magazines. So I'll get into the other gear and like what I wear and stuff and yeah. So. Anyways, that's gonna be now. Or my mask or eye pro, whatever. I don't just run up glasses and stuff. I actually run a paintball mask. I run a profiler 
Uh, what is it? V Force Profiler Paintball Mask. I took the visor off just because. Uh, yeah, this is my eye protection, face protection. I also wear a toque that's over there. Uh, this thing actually fits really well and it's very comfortable. Uh, I have my mount here for my camera, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But so yeah, that's my mask. And then for the pants I wear, these are just some camel pants. I think my mom and dad bought them. Or no, my auntie. Uh, I got this for Christmas. I think my auntie just bought them at a army surplus store, I believe. They are just camel pants. They have knee pads on them. Good for sliding around and on the floor and stuff. So, yeah. And that's really it for pants. They don't have that many pockets. Or they don't have pockets at all, I don't think so. That's just a pair of army pants from uh, a surplus store. I also forgot to mention that this is a red dot for my rifle that I don't use. I don't use it because, I don't, I don't, I don't know, it was, it was 40 bucks and I figured I'd use it for a little while, but I switched the speed soft, so might as well not use it. I don't really know what to say about this. For a shirt, I either, or I don't really wear this anymore, but I either wear this, this little uh, camo shirt, and I got a G&G &G armament patch from the rifle that I got with it. And I either wear this, or I wear a sweater that's in my closet back there, so... Uh, oh yeah, so that's n really nothing special about that, so... I have two holsters. This is just the hip holster that goes on my side, or in wherever I decide to put it. Just goes on my side, and I put... It's kind of impractical to put this on there. Because it's so big. But I mean, it fits. So, that's what counts, I mean. I guess. So, this is the first holster, and the second holster is just a shoulder holster. That you'd put around your... Uh, shoulders. I'm, I'm not actually gonna put it on, but you could do it like this. And my arms are going here, and then, yeah, you get the point. Uh, so those are holsters. I don't really use holsters, but when I do, it's good. He gave them to me. Uh, they just come out there. And they're just regular BBs. They're just, you know, regular white BBs, so. Uh... Uh, they're just regular BBs, and they work really well, but if you are going to get BBs, I recommend either g, g brand BBs or Griffins. Those are really, really, really reliable BBs. They look, uh, they work really well in your gun. And if you are going to get BBs, I recommend those two brands, but these, these will work for now until I run out of BBs and buy more, so... Yeah. These are not good to use in my gun. They're just plinking guns that... Uh... I use in my other guns, like those two that I showed you on, the two, the two crappy ones. So, yeah, these are just really crappy BBs. And then for CO2, uh, for my Deagle, I use uh, Crossman uh, 12 gram cartridges. They're just these. They're the, you know, original CO2 that you'll find anywhere, anywhere in an airsoft store or... Uh, like, uh, Canadian Tire or something, these are just the ones you find. So, those are really the ones that you just buy if you need CO2 or something. But there's, like, Daisy for other guns, but yeah, these are, they're decent. They're really good, actually. They're not just decent, they're pretty good, so. Recommend these. And, yeah, on to the next thing. I guess that's almost it. Uh, well, there's, uh, I mean, there's some other things in my bag, but, so, Yeah. Anyways, next are my gloves. I literally just use some old BMX gloves, some old Fox gloves that I use for BMX. They work good, and I had some gloves laying around, so I, I don't do BMX anymore. But these are really good, and they do protect my hands. Although, I was shot, if you can see. I, I don't have it to focus, but I was shot in the hand. There's, there, there's a white out there somewhere. I it probably won't focus on that. But uh, though I was shot in the hand. They do work really good, though. They are Brady gloves if you... Uh, they're nice and black, so if you guys do want some gloves, uh, fox gloves. So, they're decent, so yeah. Next is my battery charger. I just have a Tenergy Smart, Smart A AC charger? Yeah, AC charger. Uh, it is 8.4 for, for, yeah, volt to 9.6 volt. Uh, it's, yeah, it's just a regular battery. 
just a classic battery, you know, for like RC cars and stuff like that. So for my battery for my AR, I run a Jag Arms Numchuck battery. And this thing will last you quite a while. It la how long does it charge? I don't know. It's something like it lasts your gun, I think it's somewhere around like eight to nine hours, somewhere around that. It's uh, a decent battery. It's actually pretty good. Uh, it charges really quickly and lasts really long. So I use it. Uh, it's pretty good. I think most people use Jag Arms, but they use like lipos and stuff. But well, I mean those work too. But yeah, I uh, this first battery. So run this, but it's a two point sling. Sorry, I just had a little battery thing. I'm recording this on my phone, so might be a little bit crappy, but this is a sling. Uh, it's a decent sling. It just attaches to this here. Attaches to this point of my gun. I don't really use it right there. But I don't normally use it because I like to have more weight. I don't like it hanging down off me, right? So, yeah, that's my sling. And that's pretty... That's almost it. There's a couple more things I gotta show you, but that's really it. So, next up is my KWC speed loader for my Desert Eagle. You'd uh, here, give me a second. Uh you would put this part on the top, you'd fill it with BBs, and then you just push down the BBs into the mag chamber. So it's nothing special. It's just a it's not like one of those speed loaders, which I will be getting with my high capo, which I'll do which I will be probably doing a review on because I'm nothing to because I have nothing else to do in quarantine. I mean, I can just do some plinking videos up my backyard, but that's really it. But, so, on the next thing, and the last thing, it's going to be a decently long video, but I don't know. Okay, last thing of gear. Uh, this is the camera. Uh, I run a, or for cameras, I run a HD, or a, a Drift a Ghost HD 1080p camera. It's really good. I might need to get a new SD card soon, but it's still a really reliable camera. I've had it for three, four years now. Uh, I used it for filming, like, skate park stuff and whatever. I just filmed GoPro stuff, but uh, it's a really reliable camera. Uh, I do want to get a GoPro sometime in the future for my mask, just to mount there instead of on my side. But anyway, this is really still a really good camera. Um, if you are going to get a camera and you want to film, either get a ghost or GoPro. GoPro probably is the way to go because they're smaller and they won't get shot out, but these come with extra lenses. You unscrew these little screws here or those and you can take your screen out or your, your lens out and they come with two separate back pieces. So if you unscrew, I, well, I, well I'm not going to unscrew, but you can unscrew that and then it becomes another just flat. You can take that off and other things, but like it's a really good camera. I, it's really reliable, and uh, I recommend uh, HD or Ghost uh, drift cameras. Uh, so yeah, last piece of gear, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's gonna be for this video. If you liked it, hit uh, subscribe down below. Like it if you want. Uh, uh, go check out my Instagram. Uh, at Bounty Hunters Airsoft, and I will see you guys in the next video.